Hi everyone, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to give an example of personalizing the Psalms. What do I mean by that? Um, this is just an example of personalizing the Word of God. I'm going to take a Psalm and I'm going to read it. Then I'll take a verse from that Psalm, contextualize it and then make a declaration out of that verse. Are you ready for this? All right, let's get into it. I'm going to read Psalm 5 from the New International Version 1984. It's just a version I'm used to. There are other good versions like the New Living Translation or whichever one you like. So let's get into personalizing the Psalms. Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my sign. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you and with an expectation. You are not a God who takes, re who takes pleasure in evil, which you, the wicked, cannot dwell. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. Blood trusty and deceitful men, the Lord have bores. But I, by your great mercy, will come into your house in reverence will I bow down toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make straight your way before me. Then verse 11. But let all who took refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. So the last verse we just read, which is verse 12, is what I'm going to personalize. Notice that that verse says that, O oh Lord, you bless the righteous. So I'm going to take the word righteous and I'm going to dig further into that word. Well, when these words of this psalm came from the mouth of David, they had a form of righteousness under the old covenant. But today, we live under the new covenant and we even have, it's a covenant, according to the book of Hebrews, established on better promises. We also have a righteousness that is of God. Let me show that to you. You see, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 says that, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, that God made Jesus, who knew no sin, to become sin, that you and I might become the righteousness of God in Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. God made him, the Lord Jesus Christ, who had no sin, to become sin, for us, so that in Him, I, you, we, might become the righteousness of God. Is that something to shout about? Yes! Glory. So, here's what I would say. Father, I thank you that you made the Lord Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, to become sin, so that I have now become the righteousness of God. I have a righteousness that is of you. It cannot be tampered with by any force because it is a righteousness that is of you, God. I have right standing with you. I have the same rightness that you yourself, Father, have. Now, I go back to the Psalm 5 verse 12 where it says the word righteous and then I bring in the concept of the righteousness under the new covenant and say, for surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. I thank you, Father, that I am righteous. Therefore, O Lord, you bless me. I thank you for your blessings. I thank you that I've been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. If there's anything that is a blessing, I've been blessed with it. If I've not been blessed with it, it's not a blessing. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous and you surround them with your favor as with a shield. So I say, 
The Lord has blessed me. I am righteous. The Lord has blessed me. God my Father surrounds me with favor as with a shield. By closing my eyes when making these affirmations, it, I notice that it registers better on my spirit. So, I know closing your eyes while looking at the camera is, for the sake of this illustration, becomes appropriate. <laughs> so, for surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. According to the new covenant, God my Father made the Lord Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, to become sin, so that I have now become the righteousness of God. Because I am righteous, I am a candidate for all the blessings of God. So, Father, I thank you for your blessings, and I thank you for your favor that surrounds me as a shield. I am enveloped in the favor of God. Thank you for going through this session of personalizing the Psalms with me. We just practiced that with Psalm 5. I encourage you to do this and watch the Word of God work for you. Be blessed in the wonderful and mighty name of Jesus.